ridiculous like story. It's a partisan whistleblower. Uh, I shouldn't even have information. Uh, I've had conversations with many leaders that are always appropriate. I think Scott can tell you that. Always appropriate. At the highest level, always appropriate. And anything I do, I fight for this country. I fight so strongly for this country. Uh, it's just another uh, political hack job. That's all it is. Uh, it doesn't matter what I discuss, but I will say this. Somebody ought to look into Joe Biden's statement, because it was disgraceful, where he talked about uh, billions of dollars that he's not giving to a certain country unless a certain prosecutor's taken off the case. So uh, somebody ought to look into that, and you wouldn't because he's a Democrat. And uh, the fake news doesn't look into things like that. It's a disgrace. But I had a, I had a great conversation with numerous people. I don't even know exactly who you're talking about. But I had a great conversation with numerous people, uh, uh, numerous leaders. And I always look for the uh, conversation that's going to help the United States the most. That's very important. <laughs> I don't know the identity of the whistleblower. I just hear it's a partisan person, meaning it comes out from another party. Uh, but I don't have uh, any idea. But I can say that it was a totally appropriate conversation. It was actually a beautiful conversation. And this is no different than, you know, the press has had a very bad week with Justice Kavanaugh and all of those ridiculous charges and all of the mistakes made at The New York Times and other places. You've had a very bad week, and this will be better than all of them. This is another one. So keep, so keep, so keep playing it up because you're going to look really bad when it falls. You know, I guess I'm about, I guess I'm about 22 and 0, and I'll keep it that way.